Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be optimizing windows for zero delay. I put together a pack that I will link in the description below. This is generally safe for all users as I have tested this on multiple users and windows versions. First off, I would like to cover that I will try my best to explain what the tweaks are and how they affect your PC for performance and delay. Let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So once you have downloaded and extracted the pack onto your desktop, you're going to want to read this first file I have at the top here. This is the read before you do anything. Disabling UAC, this essentially means that there will be no permission prompts that require administrative privileges and they can make changes to your device without asking for permission. So you can go ahead and run this. Next is to run Windows Update Blocker. This will stop all updates for your system, ensuring that none of your tweaks that we will apply go away after a couple of days because of updates. So you can run this as admin, disable updates, protect service settings, and you can click apply now. Then we have our tweaked CSRSS. This is responsible for creating and managing threads within the operating system and ensures that processes can run smoothly and efficiently. So you can go ahead and just double click, click yes, and then click okay. First, we'll be running dark mode. You can run this as administrator. It's gonna make everything dark mode on your PC. You won't, if you don't see a taskbar here, don't worry. Um, I do have a text file here. You can just hover over where the taskbar usually is and that's how you run dark mode. Next, we'll be changing our sound settings. You're gonna to wanna to disable any device that you do not use in this list here. And then click on the device that you do use, click on properties, go to enhancements. You wanna disable all enhancements, then go to advanced and uncheck both of these down here. And then I personally like to use DVD quality, but this is the highest one I have. So I'm gonna use this option. Next, we have disabling background apps. Mine will not show because I am on a custom OS and it's already disabled from the start but you will have an option to either enable or disable it. So just go ahead and turn it off. Up next, we have mouse acceleration. You want to disable this because it will affect your aim heavily. You will have inconsistent movement and unpredictable control, always having to change your in-game sensitivity and it will impact your muscle memory. So you can go ahead and uncheck this box, apply and click okay. Next on our list is performance options. Some people like to have smooth edges on it, but I personally just click adjust for best performance, apply and then click okay. Then on to disabling Xbox Game Bar. This has unnecessary bloat and will cause terrible input lag because it is running within the background. So go ahead and just disable this option. If you use this to record clips, please just move on to OBS. I will be making a video on the best settings for quality and performance really soon. Next is game mode. This is completely up to you. I personally like to keep it off because I feel no difference, but for other people on lower end PCs, you might be able to feel a significant difference. So this option for you, you can just test around whatever works for you. You can just keep it at that setting. Next is turning off fixed scaling for apps. Setting the scaling to 100% means that no scaling is applied. In other words, the operating system displays items at their native size without enlarging or reduction based on the displayed resolution. So you can go ahead and just keep this scale at 100%, which is also the recommended that Windows likes. Next is turning off transparency effects. This is going to turn off because it reduces GPU load, it helps system responsiveness, and you can potentially achieve smoother performance and a more responsive experience. So you can go ahead and turn this off. Now for the power plan, I wrote a little text here. If you do not know how to import them, you can just follow the list I have here and you should be good to go there. Now onto the registry tweaks. I have made this list myself and what this does is disable power throttling, network throttling, disabling sleep and global background apps. So you can go ahead and run this tweak. Next registry tweak is IRQ priorities. IRQ priorities help ensure that time sensitive tasks are executed promptly, maintaining the system's responsiveness and reducing the risk of data loss or missed deadlines. This will help you delay a lot and it should feel a lot better for your game. So you can go ahead and run this. Next we have is Windows Low Delay. This changes your Windows 32 priority separation to 2A, which prioritizes responsiveness and frames. So this will help your game feel a lot better. Number four here is USB Suspend Disable. This can help sleep modes for any USB plugged into your PC. Next, we have our RAM tweaks. I listed out a good amount of RAM sizes here, so you can go ahead and select your gigabytes and RAM and run the disable large system cache and the memory optimizations at the bottom here. So I'm on 16 gigabytes of RAM and I'll run the memory management optimizations. For the GPU tweaks, I listed both NVIDIA and AMD since I am on NVIDIA. I set a profile in here, which is mine I just created. You can set this in your NVIDIA profile inspector. So you can go ahead and run this as admin, and then you can drag this delay NIP file into your profile inspector. Once this imports, you might have an error, just click okay. 
and you can apply changes in the top right. While we are on the GPU tweaks, if you're on NVIDIA, open up the NVIDIA control panel, go to adjust image settings with preview. I like to select this bottom one, drag it to performance, and then use the advanced 3D image settings. I'll apply it. And then you can go click yes, adjust desktop size and position. If you're on native, use no scaling on display. If you're on stress res, use full screen on GPU. You can apply it in the bottom right and you should be good. Next, we have a D bloat here. I put a video within this file, so you can go ahead and follow the instructions within the video. So open this file, you can right click and run with PowerShell. Number six is for Windows 11 only. This is how to apply timer resolution. Just letting you know this will drastically help with your delay in FPS. I wrote out a step-by-step -step guide in this text with all the necessities you need to use for timer res on Windows 11. Number seven is the Windows 10 fix for timer resolution. All you have to do is drag this DPC latency into your shell startup and this will drastically improve your delay in fps next is a service disabler this will kill all your background processes that you do not need to run this right click this as admin and then you will have a prompt here asking if you agree just click y enter for a massive drop in processes type advanced and then enter if you are unsure and not willing to risk anything just type basic and enter for this i'll just type advanced now click enter and it'll just say thank you for using my optimizations. Last is the keyboard and mouse data queue size. And Windows, the data queue size determines how many inputs, such as keystrokes or mouse movements, can be stored in a buffer before they are processed by the operating system. The impact on latency by setting the queue size to 16 means that there's a smaller buffer between the moment an input event occurs. This reduces the time between input and system responsiveness, thereby decreasing latency. So you can run these files and then you can restart your PC to save all the changes we've made. Now that you have optimized Windows for zero delay, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I was able to help out anyone out there looking for a guide like this. It would mean a lot if you can drop a like and subscribe and comment how this guide helped you. I will try and put out more guides within the future. And if you want to get your PC optimized by me, you can go to the link in the description to the Discord where you can open a ticket and you can view our different prices that we have for our tweaks. We do have Windows tweaks, BIOS tweaks, and custom OS. I will see you in the next video.